So yesterday I woke up, checked my emails, and I'd received this email from YouTube. Our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately, we think it violates our spam, deceptive practices, and scams policy. We've removed the following content from YouTube, and then a link to my video. Now, I don't personally think this video violates any community guidelines, so in this video, I'll show you how you can appeal a video so you can get it back live on YouTube. Now, the funny thing about this video as well, this video has already been removed one time, by YouTube, I appealed it and they put it back up straight away within like 10 minutes. So I'm going to appeal this video, I'll show you how you can appeal a video, and yeah, here's what you need to do. So first when you go onto YouTube, if you haven't already acknowledged the appeal, you have to go and acknowledge the appeal in the first place. Now if you've acknowledged the appeal, the appeal won't come up on your YouTube channel like on the homepage, so you need to go to your YouTube studio. If you go to your YouTube dashboard here, you can click on your active community guideline strikes, and it will open up um, all of your strikes here. I had a warning for this video here, which got rejected, but you can see we have the video, of which is the email I got, and we can appeal this by clicking on the blue appeal button. So I'm going to click appeal. Now when you click appeal, make sure you know um, what they're actually removing it for. So in this case, YouTube have decided, or a bot has decided, that it needs to be removed because of spam and deceptive practices. Now you need to remember that when your videos get removed, and they are actually removed by a bot. So when you're appealing it here, what you're essentially doing is asking for a human to review it. So for the reason you only get 800 characters and you want to just make it clear and concise why you don't think the video breaks any TOS. If the video does break TOS though, to be honest with you, you're probably not going to get it back up, uh, but it's worth a shot anyway. You don't lose anything by trying. So I'll write out a paragraph here and then I'll go through the paragraph and why I wrote what I did. So here's the paragraph I wrote. Um, I put, hi there, can you please take a manual look at this video? I believe it doesn't go against any YouTube TOS. It's simply a video showing people how to make some Bitcoin, which is done in a simple and concise manner. There's no spam or deceptive practices used in the video. Thank you. So basically, I'm just saying that I acknowledge the YouTube terms of service. It doesn't include any spam or deceptive practices. And I just want someone to take a manual look at the video. And to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter what you put in this box. Just explain that you don't think it does break TOS and a human's going to review it anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click submit and then I'll be back um, to see if the video has been reinstated or not. Submit. So now our appeal is submitted. It is at 9am on the 31st of August. I'll be back once we have a decision. Okay guys, so it's about an hour later and we've had an email from YouTube. You can see decision on your video appeal. So if we click on this, you can see it says, thank you for submitting your video appeal to YouTube. After further review, we've determined that your video doesn't violate our community guidelines. Your video has been reinstated and your account is in good standing. If we go to YouTube, you can see I've just got a warning and the warning is from an old video. Before it said one strike, now that strike's been removed, it just says a warning from another video. If I go to videos and I just search for Bitcoin, you can see this video is public. Um, you can go and watch this video and it's now being reinstated on YouTube. So I hope that video helped you out guys. Make sure you do leave a like, leave a comment and let me know what videos of yours got flagged and for what reason. And with all that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.